Andrew McGann for Severe MMA here at the Kumite Fighting Championship standing alongside Neil Siri. I don't think we got that, but pretty sure the last one on one we did you said where the fuck's Graham when you need him as well. <laughs> Dave Fogarty Graham, mucked huh? it up that day as well. Don't even know where the record button isn't that. No. Mom. This what are we doing? We're hiring amateurs here. Yeah. How are you? Hey. What's the crack? Good. How are you? Pizza Carroll's been telling me bad things about you. Yeah, why? Just general bad things. He said bring them up in the interview. <laughs> What about what? Oh, just life in general. You're, it looks like you're maybe getting your act together a bit, a bit more training here. Are we going to see Neil Siri fight in 2016? Yeah, definitely. That'd probably something going to probably something announced probably in the next two or three weeks. So, fingers crossed that comes off. Is this the time that you've been taking, uh, taking time away, maybe improving in the gym, watching the amateur guys get better? I know you've actually started. You're, you're a little bit more... Maybe you were behind the scenes in the past, now you're at these shows, you're cornering the guys, you're helping them out as well. Yeah, well, it's, it's obviously nice to get out and to see the work that they're putting in, you know, put off. So, um, we put a lot of hard work in the gym and it's nice to just travel around and just watch do the thing. What did you make of that there, a draw for Eric Nolan? Um, I thought he had the first two rounds and he lost the last round. But look, it's amateur like so it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, does it, really? It seems to be more and more Rhino guys now getting towards the end of their amateur career, maybe coming in towards pro. For you being in the gym and yourself and Reds, or is this the time that maybe they need you guys the most training off them when they're getting ready on these, I don't want to say fights that start to matter, but fights that are going to count on their record long term? Yeah, well, like, it, obviously it's nice to have someone with a bit more experience in the corner than obviously people that um, haven't done it themselves, you know, so that's why I don't mind travelling up. But look, Eric helped me out when I'm training, so I don't mind paying back the favour basically you know but obviously um, trying to coach them from the side is hard you know yeah. it is trying to tell them what to do when they're not the owner it's, it's a bit frustrating you know when you are um, w watching the current maybe UFCs now and I know you're a man who likes his live tweeting in the middle of the night watching a UFC event are there any matchups that you're thinking I'd like to go with them with that guy I'd like to go with this guy or even considering maybe up to 135 some matches up there like Neil Seary we need to see him fight those guys Um. No, definitely not the 135. They're all just far too big. Yeah. There's no way of going up there, you know. Well, I've watched Brad Pickett there fighting them, um, and the, the size difference there was scandalous. It was scandalous, you know. So um, there's no way I'm going anywhere near that division, you know. And as for someone in the flyway, look at them, went. I'm always a man that would say that I'll fight anybody. You can't start turning fighters down when you have to come in out and say you fight anybody, you know. So that pops up for me, and I'm going to dive all over it couple of quick things do you think you're kind of gaining your own little bit of popularity at the minute in Ireland a lot of people are like your online presence I'll say is increasing people are saying series good crack series always funny and I think it's because you've kept true to the way that you've been on say Facebook for the last couple of years abusing people and calling them all sorts <laughs> you're still doing it now I'm still doing it now yeah I get told off now and again but are you, are you stopped in the streets now Neil Seary can I get a picture no it's no. not gone that far Neil Seary is still throwing stones at me <laughs> you come to Fingless and you'll see what they say about me why is Neil Seary throwing things at my car yeah. <laughs> or robbing my car <laughs> even more so. no um, I don't know I just like to crack on, on Facebook you know you're a troll I'm an a internet troll, troll. <laughs> you got that right. I have to do a PC little junkie. We'll troll away. I have to say, like you're you're gaining a popularity in the international MMA scene. There's forums online that are like, this guy is good. This guy will come to fight every time. It's not it's not born. But that's is it justifying for you that this is the way you fought your whole career and now you're being noticed on an international stage for the fighting style that got you so popular domestically to begin with? Yeah, it is frustrating. I wouldn't say well, it's not frustrating, you know, but. You have to understand that, like I fought 70 kilos and I was still doing the exact same things. I was marching forward and trying to knock people out. When I hit 135, I was doing the exact same thing. But I hadn't got, um, just hadn't got the ground game to, to go along with the striking ability, you know. It was always the way I, I fought, you know. And obviously people wrote me off for years and one years because of my ground game, you know. But, you know, I've thrown things around, you know. I've proven that the hard work, I, I put it in, you know, all the time in the gym, you know. Um, and it's just unfortunate that it's coming at the end of my career, but what can you do? One final thing, do you think your last two fights where you were able to show an improved ground game will make you even more confident going into these fights? Maybe exposing the ground in the past, but now you're coming in, uh, winning rounds off your back against Chris Beale with great elbows, people thinking what a great submission game off his back. You're able to open up more in your hands because you know you're going to be okay if you go on the ground. Yeah, but it's still rather just go out there and have, have a fight, you know, I know, look, it's getting to the stage okay. where you have to either what's the word? Like you need to be the fight, the fight, uh, with a bit of brains. You know what I mean? Like 
as I say, Brad Pickett done it on me, you know what I mean? He knew how to win the rounds, you know, and unfortunately you have to do them things, you know, to obviously get the fight on your side, you know. Perfect. Well, hopefully we'll see you now in a couple of weeks. Fight announcement. We'll chat again and then uh, maybe another fight before the end of the year. All right, lads. Sound, man. Take it easy. See you later.